Jonathan says he suspects his girlfriend's morals are compromised. Ooh. Jonathan, what do you mean? What's going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with my girlfriend, Annie, for about eight months, a little bit over. Yes. And I love her very much. I've never loved anybody more. Yes. Aww. And Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm a very big relationship guy. I don't do casual sex at all. Yes. Uh, my entire life, I'm 22, I've, I've never, I've only had sex with two girls, and only two relationships. Yes. And I've only kissed four girls. And the ones I did kiss, I was intending to have a relationship with, you know, if they were interested. Yeah. And that, that just didn't work out. So, so. Uh, why are you here? Is it time to kiss again? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh... Well, like I said, I love Victoria very much, or, you know, Annie. Her first name is Victoria. But the, and we call her Annie because okay. her middle name's Ann. Okay. But uh, anyway, uh, she told me that she's, she doesn't have sex just, like, casually either. Like, she has sex with people she's in a relationship with. Yeah. She told me she's been, she's had six boyfriends, so I kind of just assumed uh, that it was safe to assume that she's only been with six guys. And, you know, I never really knew, and it was kind of in the back of my mind, I was wondering. So one day, I just kind of brought it up casually. I was, you know, we were just talking, and then that came off. So I was like, okay, actually, about that, like, how many, you know, just... How many know. guys has she had sex with yeah, you, Yeah, I, was, I, was, I just didn't Because you had sex with four. No, two. I kissed two. four. Oh, kissed yeah. four, too. I got it. <laughs> kissed but, four. But uh, she told me, and I was, I was shocked. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't astronomical, what? but it was she had much more than I had... You know, previously what, what, what? assumed. Uh, it was, uh, she said about 15. Oh, 15 guys she had sex with. Uh, yeah, she yeah. said, you know, there were six she was in a relationship with and then like a handful of one night stands. So, like, I mean, it wasn't a uh, matter of like how many times, it was a matter of like how many, how guys? many people. Because like 15 people just seems a lot to me, you know? Yeah. That's like half of those people over there, you know? <laughs> Do you recognize any of them? Or any of them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we okay. live pretty far away, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm... Yeah. Okay. So, sure you, so you are guys. upset because it turns out she had sex with a lot more guys than you had yeah, and, thought. Yeah, and, well, she, I feel like I was misled to believe that it was less, and I kind of was just okay with it for a while, just, you know, not knowing. Uh, and so, like, when I found out, I was kind of wondering what else she might be hiding. And uh, she spends a lot of time with her best guy friend named Nick. Yeah. And, uh, like, I, you know, I never have a problem with it, really. You worried he's one of the 15? Perhaps, yes. But I've never had a problem with it because she says he's one of her closest friends because he's been around, like, like everybody else in her life has come and gone, and he's the one that's been there since middle school. So, so she just says he's a friend. Yeah, just a friend. So if, in fact, they did have sex, now it's up to 16. It, yes. <laughs> I don't know if we can let her on the show. <laughs> so Annie's your girlfriend. Okay, and I'm making fun here, but obviously you want to have a good relationship with her and you want to really know, know yes. what she's like. Yeah, okay. Here's Annie. <laughs> Well, ever since I told you how many people I've had sex with, it just seems like everything has changed. Like our relationship, how you look at me, how you hold me, like we, we don't make love anymore, we're distant. And I mean, you know how my life was, you know how I grew up. And I feel like my past is my past and it, the number does not matter. You know, like you shouldn't judge me for having too much sex. It doesn't make any sense. And, you know, throughout my past, Nick has always been there for me. You know, we've gone through so much, so many things together and so many hard times. And he doesn't make me, he makes me feel beautiful. He makes me feel like he actually cares about me, unlike you, you know? And there's, Nick and I had sex. 16. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering your slutty past. I'm not a slut, all right? You 
are taking our relationship so fast and so serious. It's it's like you want to get married and you want to have kids, and I'm only 18 I years do. old. Well, I don't. You, we talked about this at the beginning of our relationship. We talked about wanting kids and... I know, and it's she's just... She's 18. And it's also, Jonathan... Do you feel you're being a little bit unfair, that you're being very judgmental? I mean... It is unfair, especially... <laughs> Especially that I had to teach you how to have sex. I had to show you where to put it. You had never had any relations with a woman before. And I showed you that. And you I know did what? too. I had, a, I had a girlfriend before you. It had just been two years since I had had sex with her. Well, now it was like, like I was a, a born again dog. virgin. It's like you always just want to hump my leg. <laughs> you know, and Nick knows how to treat a woman. All right. He makes me feel beautiful, he makes me feel strong. And he doesn't judge me, you know? I think it should be noted that even though you had to teach me that I am a quick learner. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Let the record show. I just... I eat the like a dog. <laughs> I just... It's not enough, Jonathan. It's not enough. I can't be with someone who's so... Controlling, it's like... Is that why you keep humping the leg? <laughs> yeah, and, and this fellow, Nick, that he's been a friend of yours for yeah, a long time. A very long time. Oh. Uh, you know, I hear about him and Christy arguing all the time when he comes over. Oh, he over. has a girlfriend. Yes, Christy. Oh. And, I mean, they always are fighting. Always. Yeah. You know, cheating are, are on you one another. Are you saying you like Nick better than you like Jonathan here? You know, Nick and I have just recently s started to show our feelings to each other, it yeah. seems like. And I think I love him. Ooh. You know? Well, here, here's Nick. <laughs> Ooh. What kind of man are you? Who messes in someone's relationship like that? What kind of man am I? The kind of man that can treat your girl right because you can't. I can treat my girl right. You treat your girl right, boy. I treat my girl. I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> because you didn't treat your girl right, I had to take over. Okay? You're a kid. I'm a man. How are you? What makes you a man? What makes me a man? Well, the fact that I have a welding degree. I work a full-time job. I'm looking for a second job. I ride my bike an hour to work, to and from work, every day. Well, I Tell me how that am trying to man. get a four-year degree. I four degree. walk to work, which does exercise for my legs, which you clearly need. I am saving up for a car. Over four, I have over $4,000 in the bank in savings. Yeah. Which is enough for a car, but I want a better car, so I'm saving. Yeah. You are nothing but a little boy. You hear me? Nothing but a little boy. And he needs a real man like me. But you have a girlfriend. Yes, I do. Who doesn't treat him right? How is your relationship with your right? girlfriend? It's, it's bad. Oh. It, it, it's been bad since... All I can remember, it's yeah. been bad. We yeah. fight all the time. Do you really care about her? I really do. You... We've been friends forever. I've yeah. known him since middle school, you know? Yeah. And unlike this guy who just ridicules me and just makes me feel like, you know, yes. women are liberated. I, I don't need to be yeah. changed. I can have sex with who I want to. You know, I can have yeah. sex with who it's I want to like have sex with. It's not like it's 2013 when you couldn't. <laughs> Here's Christy. I'm not happy with you anymore, then, okay? Then why are you leading me on? We done lost our kid? I feel sorry for you, honestly. But then why are you keeping me around? Because I feel sorry for you. Well, then you, you, have no, you have no friends, you have nowhere to go. Because of you! I'm the one to support, because of me? Yeah! 
Dude, I'm not the one that, I, you're a bitch. That's why you oh. ain't got no friends. Oh, really? Yes, really. I got no friends really? you because you're an ass. I'm an ass. Yeah. Tell me how I'm an ass. Um, you the one that calls me names all day. I come home from work, I can work at a daycare. That's exact. And you act exactly. like a little 10-year-old all day a day. You got to accept the good, the bad, and the ugly. Dude, when I was right. 24 freaking 7. Yeah, 24 7, you got to deal with me. And anyways, all we do is fight all the time. Ever since you told me you weren't happy with me and had that big fight, remember when I had all your backed up by the door? Yeah, you should have let me go. You remember that? You and you begged for me back? You were the one crying too. What you talking about? You was on your knees, baby. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. You was and crying too. And I took too. you back, but I shouldn't have. You know you shouldn't have. You should have let me walk out the door. Yeah, where would you be right now? Street. No, at some dude's house, not yours. Oh, yours. exactly, at some dude's house. So I can take care of me. Oh, I'm taking care of you. Okay. I buy you everything. I pay all the bills. Oh, I pay really? the rent. Yes. Really? I walk to work every day. So we can save up for a car. And how much are you saving up for a car? I don't know, because you take my paychecks. To pay Okay, that's why we broke right now. He is 4000 <laughs> Okay, what? Are you saying you want to have a relationship with Annie? I don't know. I have no idea. Because you have a history here. Yes. I mean, I love her, but I just don't know what I want to do anymore. And what's going to happen here? I don't know. I mean, like I said, I love her more than anybody I've ever loved. I mean, except for my mom, you know. Hi, mom. <laughs> But it's a different kind of love. Right. <laughs> but you don't want to be with him anymore, or do no, you? No, Jerry, I don't... I think it's time for me to focus on myself, you know? We'll be back. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.